Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophyn at the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to Fallout 4, the gunless playthrough on Very Hard with Bayou Bob, because uh, Bayou Bob is uh, our character that we're playing as, if you just joined the series right now. And uh, we're back at the Cambridge Police Station after we've uh, dealt with the uh, energy plant. Uh, we dealt with Arcjet Systems, that was the, the name of the, the company there. So we helped out Dance, we got a fancy weapon from him, Righteous Authority, but we're not going to use that in the slightest, because of course, Biobob does not know how to use guns. But we needed to return here to check in with Dance. Are we in luck, sir? Mission accomplished. We have the transmitter. Finally, some good news for a change. Nice work, sir. I didn't do it alone. Aelin, Reese, it's time to welcome our newest recruit to the recon team. He shows a lot of promise, and with the proper guidance, I think he has the potential of becoming one of the best. Yeah, it looks like he has a lot of promise, but um, let's joke about it. <laughs> I'm only in it for the spiffy uniforms. Oh yeah? And here I thought you joined up for a sense of purpose and meaning. So you decided to stay, huh? I expected you to take your payment and run. Yeah, we're gonna do that as well, but not in the literal sense, but, um... Sarcastic? Let's just hug this out and get it over with. What do you say? You can play it however you want, tough guy. It's gonna take a lot more than completing one mission to impress me. Reese, that's enough. I love the sarcastic like options. Not, you're going to have to learn to work together. If you intend to stay within our ranks, you need to obey our tenets without question. Oh, we're not gonna joke around. Well, um... Understood. Understood. Outstanding. From this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of Initiate. This is only a training rank. I'm not permitted to grant ranks any higher than that. Okay then. Um, fair enough. Fair enough. Outstanding, soldier. Ad Victorium, Initiate. He doesn't even know what that means, Halen. To victory. Ad Victorium means to victory. It's Latin. In our eyes, defeat is unacceptable. Because we're fighting for the future of mankind. Our rallying cry is more powerful than any weapon you could ever carry. Remember that. Now, I need you to report to Halen or Reese for your next assignment. Dismiss. I would order. argue with the fact that the rallying call would be more powerful than any weapon. Have you seen my baseball bat? Because I like this thing. Look at that. This thing is a lot more powerful than just yelling to victory. Although I might actually yell that the next time. Let's go talk to uh, Halen and Reese. Excuse me, Scribe Halen. Reese still giving you the cold shoulder. He's giving me the cold every day. Here, this should cover all the information you'll need to find your first artifact. Good luck, and be careful. Okay, so that's just our one of our uh, first extra side quests. So recover the reflex capacitor at Jalbert Brothers' disposal. And uh, now we'll have to talk to this asshole over here, because he's going to give us another side quest. Hey there. All right, out with it. What's your game? Fallout 4 at the moment. Oh, um, yeah. Game? What do you mean? I can usually size people up at a glance, but you... You're different. And it's bugging the heck out of me. You're not the military type. You're a loner. So I can't figure out why you're sticking around. You got what you wanted, so why don't you hit the road? It's actually funny that he mentions I'm not the military type, because according to the backstory of the male protagonist of Fallout 4, he's actually a military man, so um, I'm looking for my son. The Brotherhood might be the best chance I'll ever have to find my son. Well, as far as reasons go, that's a pretty good one. <sighs> Look, I'm gonna cut you some slack, because Dance trusts you. But if you step out of line and put any of my brothers or sisters in danger, I'll make sure you regret it. Ooh, so, I'm shivering in my pants. Uh, yeah, but why are you running away? Ready. Then listen up. Like it or not, one of our most important duties is to keep the Commonwealth clear of the trash. I'm talking about mutants, ghouls, synths. The abominations the damn eggheads caused when they started... I wish the garbage the collectors were running it's around in power armor in real life. I'm going to send you to a target, and you're going to terminate everything that calls it home. All the details you need are right here. Don't come back until the job's done. And I think this one is always the same. So yeah, clear out College Square. We might as well do that first. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna do that first. So let's head towards College College Square and uh, clear out whatever is hiding in there. College Square is not that close from Cambridge Police Station because it is actually located in Cambridge. This place is still crawling with ghouls, so we have to be careful about that, but the entrance is right over there, so it's the the train station. I'm gonna enter this building for a second, 
because I'm pretty sure there's a few mines lying around here. It is starting to get a bit darker. I do want to be careful, but the last time I went in here, there was a, yeah, a Voltec lunchbox. Voltec cap mines, yeah, there we go. Okay. And then I think there's a, no, that's just a lunchbox. Voltec cap mine, take. I think that's also one. Is there, okay. Seems to be fine then. No fancy surprises here. Oh, economy wonder glue. That is really good. So I don't know why, but this cafeteria is actually booby trapped to hell for some reason. Ooh, free war money. Thank you very much. And stim pack red axe and purified water. That's always very handy indeed. You hear that clicking noise? That's me trying out vats because vats actually uh, highlights mines as well. Gumdrops. Don't need, need, need my gumdrops, but I was just here for the bottle cap mine, so that's fine. Let's head into College Square. So there are still ferals right next to the entrance as well. And I think the entire station is also infested with ghouls mostly. I hear something walking around. Yeah, there's a ghoul heading up the stairs. Let's just take out the ghoul inside of this building. Did it go all the way up or... Yeah, there it is. Oh god! Let's... Oh, I do need two swipes. That is... Yeah, don't underestimate um, very hard difficulty. Because it might bite me in the ass eventually. We need a toll schedule. Ooh. Glow-sighted calibrated hunting rifle. That's... Sounds good. And then I'm gonna take the... Uh, yeah, the leather armor over there. We drank all the booze, sadly, so that's... Yeah, I can't really do anything with that. Oh, caution. Oh, there seem to be a lot of ghouls down there as well. There's actually one sleeping. Oh! Okay. Ooh, that was not ideal. I just dropped down. Oh god. Ah, he got a hit in. Right before I activated vats. Ow! That, yeah, flopped down the stairs. That was a lot of rat damage. There is rat away in the chem cooler up here, so that is good. I'm also going to check out the toll schedule we just found. There we go. So new tolls. 10 caps for farmers or children. 30 caps for mercs. 50 caps for traders. 80 caps for wagons. And 200 caps for minute, man. Don't tangle with gunners or the freaks in power armor. Let them through, but keep an eye on them. Suit, shoot since on sight. Interesting list. Because that means, yeah, they have a different rate for a uh, different kind of people. And this was actually a toll station where people needed to pay to get through. Although I don't... Are those the people coming out of the station then, or...? Because there's not really a bridge here. Still a few ghouls running around, and I thought there was one right below me. Let's head back down. So I'm currently wearing the VATS Enhanced Raider Chest Piece, which... Gives me a 10% reduction in action points in VATS. But the one I just found is actually really, really strong. And it also has light weight, so I get more action points out of it. So I'm actually going to equip that. Just going to give me a bit more armor to uh, get out of this okay. Okay, that was a big explosion. I'm not going to walk into the can chime, so I'm just going to walk around. There was... There's a feral over there. Which is doing I don't know what. Just gonna check out the raiders here. Loot wise, that's okay. Oh. That's that one. There we go. Got them in the legs. Silver locket, there we go. That's fine. Let's just head inside because this is getting a. Uh, a bit too tense. If the, the, the area is going to be more cramped down there, so we'll be able to uh, hit a lot more easier. So, College Square Station. Usually just ghouls. Ooh. More duct tape, which means more adhesive. Which is usually the first thing you run out of. Uh, I think this guy is dead, but I need to be careful because I think there's a mine around here. Yeah. There we go. Let's disarm that. I don't actually know what that triggers. 
Because there's something... Ah, there it is. The makeshift bomb. There we go. Ooh, microscope. It's always very handy. Uh, more shotgun shells. I'm just gonna take the ammo, because of course I'm not using the guns. Which is uh, fine by me. But ammo is uh, uh, probably the easiest thing to sell out of the gate. Okay, so let's slowly make our way down into the station. Because I know there's quite a few ghouls and the lights are on here. So they're gonna spot me more easily. I was detected there for a second. What am I carrying? Okay, fragmentation grenades. I think I have the throwing arc now, right? Yeah, there we go. There we go. Was that one or did I get the other one as well? I think there's one in this room as well. There we go. Let's just take him out. Easy does it because I do love Blitz. It is such a nice thing to have. Oh, open up the suitcase and we get another uh, Idiot Savant prompt which just gets us 15 experience points instead of 5. I think there's usually a bit of drugs around here. Did the other ghouls spawn? There's one behind there, so let's just... Oh god, it's a legendary... Critical! Oh, I got him in one. I did get a hit in. A wounding double barrel shotgun, that's actually really good, but yeah. It's a gun. Targets bleed for 25 points of additional damage on a shotgun, which means that the effect is... I think the effect is spread on all the pallets. So that means you can actually just... do an enormous amount of bleed damage with just one shot. That is... sad. We can't use that. A lot of buff out though. Because this, this place was definitely selling drugs for some reason. Well, I say for some reason, but it's probably because it's very, very profitable to sell drugs. But uh, yeah, don't do not do that, folks. Don't, definitely don't do that. Ooh, there's drugs. More mantads. And duct tape. So a better left leg. That was on that guy, which is fine by me. The more protection, the better. Check out. Oh, yeah. I definitely killed both of the ghouls, which is good. So that means I think... This upper area must be fine now. I don't think I can go behind the, the counter here. Because I think I need to open up the lock. And it's probably expert, yeah. Definitely can't open that. Biobop is not that smart. So I've got a rat away and a bit of uh, food to just get that out of the way. Get back to full health. Okay, so there's one ghoul over there. That's probably not the only one yet, okay. So there's a few over there, they are sitting, so if I just can do that... Okay, chain reaction. And this one is gonna die. There we go. And we got an idiot savant prompt for that, so that was... That, that took care of them really quickly, because I think that's all of them. Maybe there's a few more in the tunnel. Yeah, there's a roamer over there. Let's open up this door. Two stem packs and an Abraxo cleaner, which is fine. So yeah, what I wanna wanna achieve with this little side quest is just g gather a bit more loot and then uh, get the experience from it, and then we'll head towards Diamond City after we're done with this. Because um, I don't think you need to do both of the missions to progress in the quest for the Brotherhood of Steel, but uh, we'll see about that when we get back in a second. But first, that roamer. He is still pretty far away, and I think, think this loops around. How many ghouls did I kill with that grenade? I also apparently decapitated... Oh no, it was another roamer. Jesus, how, definitely, how many ghouls did I kill with that one grenade? Because something else blew up. Definitely taking the gas canister. Full tech lunchbox. If I can just find some fertilizer, that might actually be really nice to get some bottle cap mines going. So he's right over there. I don't think, yeah, I can't hit him just yet. Slowly approaching. Yeah, there we go. I think one should be enough. Yeah, so it's times three, so that's why I can get to kill him. Ooh, splash. Get to kill him in one. Strengthened ladder left leg. I just found the left leg. I still need a better right leg, but... Not complaining loot-wise. So let's head towards the other side of the station. 
Not much inside of the train station, just a locked suitcase with... Oh! There was a settlement here, because you can see there's... Uh, oh, there's even a journal scrap. Might actually read that to know what happened here. Oh, God. You know what? I might actually deal with that ghoul first. Bye! <laughs> okay, that was a, a very, very funny sight. Um, ooh, all good loot, actually. So let's read about the journal note now. Rick is dead. Only a couple of us made it inside. We couldn't hold the entrance. There were just too many. Only way we could go was down. We'll hold up for a few days, wait for the ghouls to move on, then get out of here. But yeah, they never got out of here because the ghouls got away inside as well. And that didn't, didn't end really nicely. Ooh, that's actually not that bad. Duffel bag. <gasps> Another bottle cap mine. It isn't, I don't think it was active because I didn't need to disarm it. Just going to take the aluminum cans. And dirty water. Dirty water. Always very nice to have that. Okay, so other side of the station. So I think there's still a few ghouls around because the brackets are still shuffling. Yeah, there's one over there. Oh god, that's a glowing one. Definitely want to get a grenade in there. Or wasn't that a glowing one? It looked like a glowing one. Oh, did he see me? Yeah, he saw me just in time. Is there another one? Where is it? Where is it? There he is. Okay, he needs to go the long way around. Didn't I, does he does he still see me? Yeah, he does. Okay. And I blocked this actually. Oh no, I can't can't block that one bit because that I did block, but apparently you can't block ghouls. There is one more left, just around the corner. Oh no no, just, not just around the corner. I think he might be. Ooh, ooh, never. No, don't mind if I do. Nuka Cola Quantum. Oh yeah, I know where we are. We're at the, the tool shed. So there's one more inside of there. So I think I'm actually going... Third person. It's a stalker, so yeah. Definitely need to stealth hit. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, very dramatic death. Uh, bottle cap and flip lighter. Flip lighter is good for the oil. And that was apparently our final ghoul. There's also a college square station key. I'm gonna take that. And all the ammo in the world, together with a 10mm pistol. And then a steamer trunk with... Wow, that's actually really, really crappy. I'm just gonna take the bottle caps. And then in the back of the storage room, there's a, another locked door, which we can open with a key we just got. That just loops back around. So I think that one ghoul looked like a glowing one. Yeah, there's a, a very green light over there, so that's why it looked like... Uh, might have overreacted a bit there. To get a Nuka Cola out of this. Is yeah, there's a protection here that's really for some reason there's a really glowing green light that's not emanating from anywhere. I could open that up, but I'm not going to. Leak bowling pin. Are those in any way better than anything else? Plastic and wood for weight three. So no thank you very much. I don't really need that. And that's it for the station, I think. Let's head back up. I'm wondering if I can use the key to open up the counter. Which I might actually do now, if I can. Yeah, there we go. College square key used. And let's raid this entire place as well. Because there's a live and love magazine here. So companions permanently inflict 5% more damage. Which is nice. I mean, you could you could use that, for example, to uh, boost dog meat's uh, damage output. Or any of the other companions, of course. But I'm going to avoid using companions. Because I think sometimes... They're kind of, not cheating, but, I mean, they make things a bit easier. Uh, I didn't check this out. Ceramic bowl. bowl. Thank you. Thank you. I actually use that for, uh, for power armor upgrades. Ooh, this raider kind of shot himself in the head. He didn't want to live anymore. Don't know why, but ooh. And he shot himself up as well with Maddox. Don't know why I could even pick that up because he... It looked like he used it already, but let's head back to Cambridge Police Station and tell uh, Reese that we've cleared out the uh, College Square Station of all the uh, scary, scary pools. So back in the police station, let's talk to Reese. Where is he? Ah, oh, there he is. He's in the computer room. Hello, Reese, grumpy man. Yeah, we are. Affirmative. Impressive. Keep proving your worth. 
I may start to trust you. Great. Yeah. Now report to Paladin Dance. He said he had a mission for you. There we go. When you're ready for another rock, you know where to find me. Well, might as well pick one up. So those are kind of radiant quests, cleansing the commonwealth. We can just uh, pick that up every time we finish one. I don't think I can unlock the save now. I'm gonna take the silver locket though. So let's talk to Paladin Dance. I was right about just needing to uh, clear out one mission to continue the Brotherhood uh, questline. I don't know why he's looking at the Nuka Cola machine. I didn't know Paladin Dance was such a big fan of Nuka Cola. You might want to face me, Dance. Thank you. Thank you. Ready. Outstanding. Over the years, the Brotherhood has sent several recon teams to the Commonwealth. The last squad went in three years ago. They never reported back. Officially, they're missing. Presumed dead. Well, that's sad to hear, Dance. I'm really sorry about that. Sorry. Don't be. Everyone who signs up for a recon mission knows what to expect. We have a responsibility to find out what happened to them, if we can. Okay, so where do we start? Where should I begin? Their insertion point was in the hills near Malden. Survey the area and establish a search pattern. Monitor your radio for distress signals. All recon teams are issued distress pulsers that put out a short-range homing beacon. If you can acquire a signal, you should be able to trace it to its source. So follow signals. That sounds really easy. So Malden is on the way towards Diamond City. So I'm actually gonna... That's why I wanted to take this uh, quest here. I'm actually gonna take this loot as well. And then listen to Scribe Halen's personal log. It's not very friendly, but we might as well get some backstory on these guys. Field Scribe Halen, personal log entry 324A. I'm starting to wonder if joining the Brotherhood of Steel was a good choice. I originally signed up seeking protection and comradeship, but I'm worried that I've traded away a bit of my humanity in the process. The Brotherhood's message of hope for the future is idealistic and noble, but their methods leave a lot to be desired. The leadership seems especially misguided. Instead of diplomacy, they wield violent confrontation to exert control. Despite all that, I've been successfully avoiding the fighting by following the career path of a field scribe. I suppose only time will tell how long I can stand the sight of spilled blood over my own moral fiber. So that's very interesting. I've always found that very interesting because Scribe Halen actually doesn't agree with the the position that the Brotherhood takes that everything needs to die because that's basically what the Brotherhood wants. Everything that's not human, not pure, needs to die. So ghouls, uh, super mutants, everything that's irradiated should actually die. Which is, yeah, it's not very nuanced, but um, yeah. Let's head towards the motor pool because I don't think we ever went in here. Oh, I think I must have gone in here because I opened it up. But did I? No, I never looted everything, so four fusion cores, which is why I wanted to go in here, because that's four more batteries for the power armor. And uh, with that, I'm just going to loot everything else here, and I'll then go back to Sanctuary Hills. Uh, so just Sanctuary, I don't know why I always call it Sanctuary Hills, but just Sanctuary. Drop off all the loot, and then we'll head back into uh, the Commonwealth and go further towards Diamond City. So see you guys in a second. So we're heading away from uh, Cambridge Police Station. I was actually completely wrong. Malden is all the way to the east, which means we're not going to go in that direction just yet. So we'll uh, have to leave that to the sides for now. There's a few things I want to do before we're actually at Diamond City. And the first one is to just check in on our next settlement we can check out. So uh, let's head towards Ogreland Station and see what we can do to help those people. So for people wondering about the schedule, I am going to continue making one episode for each Saturday. So each Saturday there will be an episode of Fallout for uh, the Gunless playthrough. And that means we'll, uh, yeah, every every week you're going to have something to look forward to. Because I've, I've, uh, I've seen you guys enjoying this series. Because, uh, well, actually I'm enjoying it as well. Because it's a really nice challenge. Something completely different. I haven't played Fallout 4 properly on the channel yet. So uh, it's it's actually really nice that you guys enjoy it as well. Because I uh, really like the feedback I'm getting. So uh, thanks, Winnie. Winnie, thank you. So slowly passing past the Beantown Brewery. Let's uh, explore that later. Don't really need to be in here for now. It's actually tied to uh, another one of the side quests, which is really interesting. But uh, for now, we're heading towards Oberland Station. We're almost there. 
and I think those people will need our help as well. So, Oberland Station, a little uh, little shack over here with a, another Tato farm, if I'm not mistaken. Let's open that up and close that again behind me. Don't want to be rude. And hello, settler. Me, did the Minutemen send you? Indeed they did. What's going on? Yes, I'm here to help. What's going on? There's a group of raiders that won't leave us alone, stealing our food and supplies, threatening us if we can't give them what they want. We know where they're coming from, but we can't stand up to them ourselves. So, uh, backstreet apparel. Don't, Don't worry, worry, we'll deal I'll with them. I'll take care of those raiders for you. I hope so. We didn't know what to do. Oh, Bob is always happy to help, as long as he gets a drink. Speaking of which, I just really feel in the mood for a bit of whiskey. There we go. Just a bit tipsy. Uh, I'm actually gonna drink up here as well. There we go. Drinking from the pump. If you didn't know you could do that, now you do. Um, so I think Backstreet Apparel, they marked it on our maps already. So we're going to head back east into more uh, civilized areas. So more uh, populated areas. Uh, and we'll, uh, I'll see you guys in a second when we find anything else. So I hear very wild gunfire over there. Might be able to get some of the pickings that are left if I, uh, what's here? Ooh, a Mr. Gutsy that's marked as very, very dangerous. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Hit him. Oh, God. And uh, critical. There we go. Oh, that's gonna be a problem. So that means that that Mr. Gutsy is probably not as friendly as we thought he was. Ooh, God. Or is he? He's just detecting me. He is marked as hostile. Ooh. Oh, God. He has a minigun. I think it's time for some drugs. Yeah. I think Psycho Jet and then... I don't know how many action points I have yet have left. Run, 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 run. Oh no. No. We're dead. Yeah. Fuck. Okay. Luckily it saved that Overland station, because yeah, don't mess with Mr. Gutsy. He had a flipping flick. He had a flipping minigun. That was ridiculous. I'm over I'm starting to get I'm, I'm leveling too fast. I think that's the problem. But yeah, let's try that again. So now I can see the scavengers he's about to fight. But I don't see... Okay, so there's another... There's a raider even fighting them. So there's a raider... Is the raider fighting the scavenger or what is happening here? Seems like I have a different situation now. Because it just seems to be raiders versus scavengers. Which is a lot more doable than just fighting two robots I can't hit in the face. Let's just hit the scavenger. Oh, that's bad. Stop, 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 stop. There we go. Killed one of them. Okay, so there's one scavenger inside of the house. I can take out that one. There we go. That brought me back to caution, which is good. I think I might as well put... Um, I am drunk off my ass right now, but... Let's just toss a fragmentation mine over there and let him check out the corpse. Oh, I'm actually out of frag mines. That is sad. I really need to find some fertilizer. The knee, he doesn't care about his dead buddy, probably, then. Where the hell... Oh, there, there's one. Oh god, there's two. I think I might be able to... Yeah! Stealth attack! And detected, 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 detected... Why am I detected? Just kill his ass! There we go, one... And... Two... And three! There we go. Barely took any damage this time. Okay, let's just get everything we need from these guys. Ooh, a sea captain's hat. 
I want to get that. Don't forget to pick up my frag mine again. Ooh, wow, what happened to the the raider? He just got eviscerated. Ugh. I think there's also a possible settlement pretty close by here. I think on the right here, that symbol on the map. So let's clear out that place as well. Might as well while we're at it. I even hear gunfire. Ooh, the whiskey wore off. That's too bad. I do plan on getting Bayou Bob drunk off his ass constantly. Wait, where is this exactly? I think it's over there. It's called Hangman's... Yeah, I'm guessing this is it. Hangman's Alley. Is this it? Door is locked. Got it. Okay. So. Plan with these guys is... I'm gonna put... A frag mine right over there. And then if this guy comes looking... Hey. You think? I think you might want to come uh, check this out because there's a lot of stuff going on. Maybe I should just stand up. Hello! So these guys are stupid, so um, let's just put a Molotov right over there. And let's wait for the explosions. Come on out. There goes one. Didn't seem to hit anything. There he goes! So that means... Oh, there goes another one. The Molotov and mines took care of most of them. Hello. Oh, he got a shot off. But that's all about... That's all he could do. And just wait around the corner. If I can hit one... I can see a raid of scum over there. If I go into caution, I'm actually going to hit him in the back again. Three, two, one... Oh, blam! And it gets a van prompt. Oh, can't see anything. Oh, his his gun is stuck in the wall. I think. Oh god! Critical, critical! I'm almost dead. Oh ho 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 ho! I think she was using a shotgun. Whew! Was, was that a shotgun? A hunting rifle. Oh, but, but with sniper rifle bullets. Yeah, that's... That, that did pack a punch. In the meantime, there's a, a short double barrel shotgun flipping out in the door here. Let's just pick it out and just drop it because we don't really need that. Ooh, another grenade. Thank you for that. Hangman's Alley. There we go. This is actually a pretty nice settlement. Um... And I think we can actually use it now, right? Yeah, you can now use the workshop at Hangman's Alley. We might just make this a little uh, in-between shop. But uh, yeah, it's a nice, a nice... It's a pretty close settlement to Diamond City, which we're heading towards. But um, I actually also forgot that in the previous episode, I did some more crafting. So I leveled up and I completely forgot to do anything with it. But uh, as we uh, thought about before, we're going to go for Lone Wanderer. So when adventuring without a companion, you take 15% less damage and carry weight increases by 50. So uh, pretty much a no-brainer. So there we go. Made myself a bed and uh, slept through the night because that was actually um, starting to get a bit dark. And now we're in the morning again. So let's head towards the apparel shop and clear out that place of raiders. So back street apparel. I think there's a back... Uh, well, a backstreet entrance to a uh, backstreet apparel. But I'm not exactly sure, so we'll have to see about that. Oh god! Hi! Just whacked one raider. There's apparently another one, so they're, they're uh, right outside. I think this is the place with the missile launcher trap, right? So is that the only raider around here? Oh no! Fuck! Damn it! There's a fucking turret outside there. I think I might actually put a grenade in there. I have one more grenade that I picked up. Yeah. Picked up from the other guy. No, no. There. Right there. There we go. There goes the turret. And then I still need to take care of the raiders. Oh! 
I'm wondering if I just get him in view. No. No. There's no pathfinding down there, so... Now I... Neither... Oh! He looked right at me, or she looked right at me. But apparently completely missed me. I'm actually gonna go with... I mean, why not, eh? Just pop another whiskey. Yep. Hi. Oh, wow, I just... His head exploded! That was gruesome! And then, I think, yeah, that's a bazooka trap. Just gonna take it, I'm just gonna drop it immediately again then. I still hear... I hear another turret. Which is weird, because I'm pretty sure there is, like... Just to... Oh, no! There's a shopping cart turret over there. Crap. Like this. Like this. And then slowly... There we go. There we go. Taking care of everything. Whew, I thought there were going to be more. But apparently that's it for the outside of the backstreet apparel. It is the baseball place. So uh, fitting that we're using this weapon. So backstreet apparel is a sports shop. So that's where we're going to... We might actually find something in here. I'm not actually sure. They're having a very interesting conversation. But I might want to... Crash the party there. Oh, wow. No, I'm not using a stealth boy. I'm just... Oh, God. I'm still in caution. So, yeah, that's a stealth attack. That just took... Yeah, ooh. Arm came off. Arm came off. Not, not entirely my fault. That the arm came off. Okay, so there's something walking around there, and it's marked, so that might be the boss right there already. Just gonna, can I, can I whack this out of the way? No. Because that light is really blinding. Yeah, there's a, there's a turret over there. Just gonna have to, ooh, trip wire. Don't know for what. Ah, oh, that gun over there. What is it? A short double barrel shotgun. Don't really need that. Let's take out the machine gun turret like this. Oh god, he saw me just in time. I'm gonna get. Come on, come on. Ooh, I might have taken a bit of damage there. Just back off. Just back off. Just eating a squirrel on a stick. Don't mind me. I'm boozed and fed. There is actually a stealth boy in the back of this shop. That is interesting. Because they just lost me. So they're all very, very jumpy, man. They all seem to be behind the counter over here. Yeah, this is not where they are. They must be... In here, then? Yeah, 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 okay. So if I'm... Just looking at the, the marker here, might as well just take a bottle cap mine. This is such a waste of time, but this is supposed to be a bowl, so... What the hell was that? Yeah, that's something very nice. Go look at it. Are they gonna... Or do they know it's... I was just gonna say, do they know it's a mine? I don't think they knew it was a mine. <laughs> I killed the raiders in Backstreet Apparel, because, yeah, for those quests, you just need to kill the raider boss. <laughs> just gonna take the caps again. Uh, raider Psycho. There were multiple in here, right? Yeah, that guy, that, whew, he was far away and he was the boss. He just died with one shot to the everything. A, a, a giant explosion. Ooh, a fancy, very fancy typewriter. And a silver pocket watch. And uh, nothing that amazing in the steamer trunk. We've been really unlucky loot-wise so far. And the leather leg is worse than what I have. So yeah, not really worth my time. But yeah, it's not because the boss is dead that we don't need to clear out the rest of this area, of course. Because that would be that would be silly, right? I think there's actually... Is there something... A bowler head. Yeah. Don't really need that. I think there might be some loot upstairs that I'm interested in. Let's go take a look. Let's take that guy out of commission. There we go. Oh, yeah, he saw me. 
So that means... I think a frag mine might do this time. Just around the corner. So yeah, I definitely didn't know where I was. I think they can see me through the crap over there on the left. Which, I mean, I can get over that. Yeah, he's gonna wake up to an exploding surprise. Not, not really scared. Just gonna walk away. Or is he just gonna stay in there? He's cowering inside of the... Well, you're hiding. You're the one hiding. Might want to pick up my uh, frag mine there. I think I might actually be able to... Why is there a screwdriver on the on the fan? Come on, buddy. There he is. Stealth attack! Oh, and a level up from that. His head exploded. Yeah, I don't really... Just need to go back into first person. Yeah, that was... The psycho kind of lost his head there. And did I, again, kill two guys with that one mine? Felt like it. Ooh. Nice. Grognak the Barbarian. Critical hits with unarmed and melee attacks permanently do plus 5 damage. So I think I got... Plus 5% damage. So I think I got 4 of those already. No, 3. So I got 3 Grognak the Barbarians already. That's actually pretty nice. There's actually beer in here. Bayou Bob has found his dream area. Ooh, and a pack of, pack of duct tape. So that seems to be it for this floor. The brackets aren't shuffling anymore, so that means, yeah, we're at the end of the area. But there's still the rooftops, so let's check that out as well. The rooftops. It is a nice day out. That is, that is a plus, so... Don't seem to be any enemies around here. Just beer bottles. An explosives box, which is always nice. A frag mine, frag grenade and Molotov cocktail. But that appears to be it. Um, which is fine by me. Don't really mind that that was it. But uh, yeah, I'm going to head towards Diamond City now. That seems to be the, the correct way to go. So it's right over there. The bank over there. That tunnel, I know that as well. Try to avoid all of that. So yeah, this is the side of Diamond City. So, uh, oh god, what the fuck? Okay, that door just opened. That scared the shit out of me. It's bright daylight and that just scared the shit out of me. Yeah, yeah. Oh. No, he has a shotgun. Not anymore. Just getting in here. Hiding in the wall. There's definitely another one because he was talking to someone. Must be close because the brackets are shuffling like crazy. This. Yeah, he's up here working on... Something. There's definitely two. I can actually hit that guy. I'm actually gonna use a critical. Because she seems pretty heavy. No! Oh god. Oh well, lose the weapon. Lose the weapon. Or the arm. That's fine by me as well. Okay. Kind of took... Uh, Unrusted tin can. That's a, a weird piece of loot I've never seen before. Ow, that kind of hurt, but I think I took the right decision to kill this guy. This woman? Woman or guy? What do you guys think? I think it's a woman. Um, ooh, explosives box. She seemed to have the bigger health bar there. Might actually heal up for a second as well. So we want to look fancy for uh, the people, the fine people of Diamond City. So I kind of dressed Bayou Bob, Bob up a bit. So now he's uh, very charismatic and he might talk his way through uh, Diamond City as well. Thank you, sir. Thank you, fine, sir. We'll follow the signs. But I think this is... Yeah, it's right over here. Can to ignore any kind of shooting that's going on. Because sometimes there's a fight breaking out, but not at this moment. So let's just head towards the front door. So lots of signs heading towards the entrance of Diamond City, which is uh, actually an old baseball station. So that's why it's called a yeah. Diamond City, of course. And there we have Piper. Down, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. 
I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. <gasps> I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. You open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. <sighs> open up. So, uh, Piper, who kind of looks like Jessica Jones, is um, in a bit of a pickle. You want into Diamond City, right? Uh, yes. I just got here, but yeah. I kind of dressed up for it. Play along. What, what's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna you be one top to about losing out on all the supply? No subtitles for some right. reason. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. And there's the door opening. And uh, there's somebody waiting for us over there, cause um, yeah. So uh, let's go. Sounds good. Let's go. I love how the glasses Every look day, on Bioball. And let's go in and see what this is going about. I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped for parts. Ooh, that a statement, Mr. McDonough? Tyrant Mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. Oh, there's the, the frame rate's going out the window for a second there. Um, I, I, I kind of support the Always news, yeah. believed in freedom of the press. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, good sir. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Indeed Welcome I do, Mayor. green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy... A fine place to come. Spend your money. Settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? Because that's actually funny. that Because he kind of talks like the vault deck rep from the beginning of the game. And he kind of acts the same way as well. But um, um, you two arguing. What are you two arguing about anyway? What do you think? Print lies and everybody's happy. But if you print the truth... <laughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? Yeah, I'm actually uh, looking for my missing son. I'm trying to find someone. Trying to find someone? Who? Uh, my son. My son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Wait, your son's missing? Oh, you hear that, McDonough? What's Diamond City Security doing to help this man, huh? This isn't the first missing persons report to come through here, and now we have an infant who's been taken? No, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. Sounds good. Who can help? Well, sure. And a mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't have time for Aww. any more questions. I'm a busy man. Enjoy your stay in our fair But I'm city. so charismatic. This is ridiculous. Diamond City Security can't spare one officer to help. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security never investigates any kidnappings? I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. <laughs> Mmm, a Rumpy big mayor. diamond city welcome from the mayor. You feel honored yet? Look, I gotta go get settled in, but, um, stop by my office later. I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for. Okay then. Thank you, Piper, and, uh, see you soon. But there's somebody I want to talk to first, because, of course, we kind of fooled Mr. Sullivan into opening the door, so let's have a chat with him. You're that traitor Piper was talking about. Something tells me she's pulled the wool over my eyes again. Am I right? 
Kinda. So, uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to lie, officer. It all just happened so fast. <sighs> You're not the there first guy Piper pulled into a heap of trouble he wasn't ready for. Thanks for being honest. If You're welcome, Danny. Me, we would have just let the both of you in. But the mayor's calling the shots, and well, you saw how mad he is. Hey, yeah, kinda. It's brought you into town anyway. Be good to note it down in the logs. Um, yeah, missing person. I'm trying to find someone. Is that so? Who are you looking for? Again, my son. Boy, Sean, we're standing dead. two meters away from baby. the conversation. Oh, look, I'm sorry, but we're under orders not to get involved in missing person cases. There's That's a, a different sign, though. Paranoia right now. We can't really risk fanning those flames with official action. What if people panic? So that's very interesting. So the mayor said that we that the he couldn't spare any officers to help us, but now this guy is telling us that the mayor actually ordered them to not get involved in any of the missing persons reports. So uh, help me. I just need a little information, Danny. We can keep this off the record. I'm sorry, but I can't. I got orders. Oh, we failed again. We're not really lucky. So uh, never I'll mind. Somewhere else, then. Chin up. Maybe someone in town can help you. Maybe someone can. So let's head into Diamond City because that's what we're here for. So uh, be ready for the entrance into Diamond City. And we actually got an idiot savant prompt from getting into Diamond City. So there we go. Diamond City, the green jewel of the Commonwealth and our ending point for this episode. So yeah, I'm going to take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. So as I said before, I'm going to be doing this every Saturday. So uh Look forward to that. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And when we get back, we're going to talk to the people of Diamond City. So uh, see you guys next time. Goodbye. <laughs>